should have a bunch of stuff to... Oh, yeah, remember that bridge we were, uh, like, removing workers from earlier? Oh, safeguard water supply. That might be it. Let's see, parking structure... MTs, helicopters, unknown number. Drainage L9, escort the survey team to safety. What's this? The survey team we infiltrated into Mirage's research facility was discovered and is currently trapped. Uh huh. They're doing what they can to hold out, but the odds aren't in their favor. Enter the facility and help them escape. Mirage's forces will do their best to destroy the survey team. Make sure they fail. Okay, so... Safeguard water supply. Barrel dam. Disable the canister. Let's see. I know one of these has, like, a boss fight against a giant spider. Uh, let's see. Kisaragi parking structure. MTs. Three. Other unknown. I think the other is an AC. Destroy all enemy forces. Let's see, this is the level the parking garage is from, actually. Let's see. Safeguard water supply. Let's rescue the survey team. The survey team we infiltrated into Mirage. They're doing what they can. Mirage is... I know there's, like, a giant spider boss in this game, and it's actually kind of cool. It doesn't last very long. It's not hard, but it's cool. Oh, it's dark as fuck. Done. Ba -da -da -da. On it! Okay, so... Which way do I go? Oh. Raven, cover us! Survey team identified. Why am I facing... I'm stuck on the geometry. There we go. There's no restart button. There's no restart mission button, unfortunately. I think there was an Armored Core 2. I think I may have accidentally fucked up and killed them. I may have accidentally fucked up and killed them. In fact, hang on, let me try something. 
There, hopefully that makes the card a little bit easier to see through. It's a little brighter. Maybe that... Hopefully that'll make the difference. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and reload. Try our hands at that mission again. Now that I can see what I'm aiming at, hopefully. Possibly. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, let's see. Rescue the survey team. Yet, yet, the yet. Survey team, they're doing what the Mirage. So yeah, that's the drawback of a machine gun, is it's uh, not exactly accurate. So probably best not to use it next to something you're trying to escort. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, wow. That completely fixed it. Okay, sort it out. I can see! We. Raven, cover us! Survey team identified. Make sure they get to the escape point. No. Gotta get there before they do. You're all clear. Oh, God. We made it. Thanks for the help. Being able to see helps so much. So this is actually what the game's supposed to look like. I managed to fit... This problem's been dogging me since I started recording Onimusha. Um, is getting the brightness fixed. And I just sort of stumbled across a solution just now. So this is what the game is actually supposed to look like. More or less. I'm recording an MJ, so it's probably going to be a little bit brighter. But, uh, yeah. So I'm Raven rank C now, so I could probably go to the uh, arena and do some more in there, but uh should be more over here. Now that I've rescued that Kisaragi team, we're probably going to be seeing more missions from them. I think that's one of the things that happens when you get a higher corporate loyalty gauge, is they'll, like, contract to you more. So let's go ahead and do another Kisaragi mission. This one's the parking structure. Um, blow up some MTs and... There's something else that's going to show up. We've just encountered a security breach involving the computer system at our weapons development facility. The hackers involved got away before they could be apprehended. Hackers and crackers. They're using MTs to make their escape and are currently holed up in the D1 block of the parking structure. We're employing multiple Ravens for this mission. Uh huh. Any information the hackers were able to get their hands on must be intercepted. Make sure none of them escape. Yeah, that guy's gonna try and kill me. So the downside of fighting. <laughs> the downside of Raven Buddies is 
Occasionally, they will be hired to stab you in the back. This is something that happens frequently in Armored Core. In fact, one of my least favorite missions in Armored Core 2 Another Age is a Raven being hired to take you out, hiring you, and then jumping you. Okay, where is the door? Um... There we go. So, oh, the door down is over there. Duh, it's a parking garage. Unfortunately, I can see now, so... I'm sure that was somebody's car. Sorry. My bad. But if you're already tearing up the power supply for the lights, in for a penny. This music is awfully Doom, for some reason. It's a very Doom theme song. Enemy unit destroyed. Great, don't get cocky. MT's X3. So far, I have seen more than three. Oh yeah, Trafalgar has an has an uh, has an armor point gauge because he's supposedly my buddy. Notice how it hasn't moved at all. And he just, like, friggin' ran straight into my line of fire. I can only imagine that was you, Trafalgar. Something that happens is they will offer commentary based on your performance. Apparently, like, 10,000 credits in the red means quite a pilot. Um, I think it's based mostly on your AP threshold. Like, like they'll comment like, Jesus, do you need some help over there? Or, you know, something along those lines. Or, like, if you're in the middle of a mission and, you know, you're doing, re you're wrecking shit and you have high AP, they'll start going, Psh, I'm glad you're on our side. So... Ravens you bring with you and ravens you encounter in missions will comment on your performance. Okay. Um, more grunt work. Already a uh, significant variety 
of things to do over verdict day, I would like to point out. That's armor, really Armored Core 5, and I'd say Armored Core 4 as well. Its biggest failing is there is a mission variety and an environment variety in the early Armored Core games that those games do not have. And 5 and Verdict Day in particular are big offenders of this, seeing as the entire game takes place, like literally all, the entire game takes place on the same like 5 to, want to say 8 multiplayer maps. Yeah, it's not very good. Like, the the environment diversity is not... Yeah. Especially in... In particular, Verdict Day. Okay? Where you're told constantly in, like, mail messages about really cool things that are happening in really cool-sounding places that it would be really cool to participate in, except you're stuck fighting the same... Like... Playing the same missions over and over, which is, like, one-on-one -on -one AC fights that they should have put in an arena mode instead of filling out the main campaign so they can say, well, we've got over 60 missions. No, you don't. You have 30 missions and 30 arena opponents. That was fine for Silent Line. It should have been fine for Verdict Day. God damn it. Why do I have to play through all these AC fights? I might be a little bitter at Verdict Day for the amount of padding in the, mission, in the main campaign. Just a little. Just a little. Mirage's rapid completion of the project earned it the gratitude of local residents. We want the bridge destroyed in such a way that Mirage is blamed and their reputation ruined. Set the demolition charges at the specified locations. Be quick about it, as we want people to suspect negligence on Mirage's part, not an act of sabotage. Also, if civilian casualties can be incorporated into the plan, so much the better. We'll pay extra for destroying the monitor. Oh, yeah. This is about to happen. You're a mercenary. You're a raven. You're not a friendly person. Oh, I can get a bonus for blowing up monorails with civilians on them? This is actually how you earn a part, I think. Is you have to blow up both of them. Yeah. Armored Core gets dark. Raven, there isn't much time. Hurry up and set the charges. Yeah, you have less than two minutes to do this. Yes, I just did that. Welcome to Armored Core. You're an evil bastard. I think I probably missed the other one. There's no more time. There we go. 
all demolition charges planted. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. I just killed a shitload of people. Special edition, two monorails. Yeah. Ooh. Ouch. That's some fucking dark side points for you. You've displayed great skill in recognition of your performance, we prepared an additional reward. The AC left arm part KWG HZL30. It's a prototype, but should prove useful. He gave me a howitzer for the left arm. I won't use it, but I will show it off. And, uh, you can sell it off for some pretty good scratch. I killed a shitload of people for a weapon I'm never going to use that I'm just going to sell because I'm a terrible, terrible person. No one said ravens were friendly, okay? They're awesome, but they ain't nice. Rather be a raven than a lynx, though. Especially a collared lynx. Those are the worst of all. Let's see. Okay, city sector S13, MT's other. Oh, this gives you an advance. That means you're gonna get your ass kicked. I'm pretty sure that says don't f no. I'm not going to give Age Tech shit for a spelling error because their localizations of these games were usually pretty good. They were a damn sight better than Ubisoft localizing Armored Core 4. That's for damn sure. They were a damn sight better than Sega. No, wait, no, 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 no. Sega localized Armored Core 4. That's right. That's why that game was so shitty. Well, that's one of the reasons why the game was so shitty. The other was that it was fucking boring as hell. The other Armored Core 4 answer was localized by Ubisoft, which I think did a better job. Namco Bandai has been localizing Armored Core 5 and Armored Core Verdict Day. It's passable. Armored Core 5's localization is kind of hit or miss. Everything's referred to as an AC in that game, so, like, what what the hell do you mean by, like, it's an AC? You know, tanks are referred to as ACs. It's ridiculous. They did a better job in Verdict Day. Hopefully there'll be an Armor Core 6 and they can do a better job localizing that. But Age Tech... For Age Tech, localizing Armored Core was largely a passion project. I'm pretty sure they always... They almost always did it at a loss. I'm sure they made some profit. I mean, they would have had have to have like some way to justify the localization costs. But as the series went on, they just kept getting more and more expensive to do. And by the time Last Raven rolled around, Age uh, Tech had announced that this was going to be the last game they were going to localize, and everybody was like, "No!" Including Age Tech, because apparently they they really friggin' loved Armored Core. The intruders are in Sector 513 as we speak. Get over there as quickly as possible, and make sure none of them leave. You're being permitted access to the area for this mission only. Good luck. Yeah. If it pays you in advance and you don't have a consort option, that means you're gonna get wrecked.
Pretty sure there's an AC fight at the end of this. I don't understand. The sector looks untouched. I'm pretty sure your friend just iced you. AC Here we go. Crossback identified. Bow, 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 bow. Artificial sky, love this theme. This is a very awesome theme. It's a really great theme for when shit gets real. Shit be going down. Oh, this looks like a nice car. Not anymore. That's a nice office. That's a nice elevator. Ah. Almost certain there's a part in here. I can remember looking for one. Or I just remember getting lost. I can hear you switching weapons. I'm about to get super conservative in my approach because I don't want to waste all my ammo or health because there's an AC fight. I could probably beat this guy with way less health than I've got. I can hear him. Yeah, that's him. Yep, that's him. I can't tell what weapons he has either, because that only works in the arena. So, how do I approach this guy? I didn't get a good look at Crossback, and I don't exactly remember what he's equipped with. Fuck it. What you got?
Oh, he's got a machine gun. That's what he's got. Oh, bombs. Machine gun bombs. Machine bomber. There we go. So Lane Mayer is beginning to have doubts. But about what? Let's see, Crass, thanks for your help. Raven, thank you for your help. The decision to seal off Sector S-13 was that of the controller, and we must follow orders. The rules governing Laird are set in place for a reason. They maintain the delicate balance of our existence. Any sort of reckless activity has the potential to cause irreparable harm. We must rely on the controller if there is to be any hope for those living here. Please keep this in mind. This is the only refuge we have. No harm must come to it. So you know the truth. The sector was in fact closed due to damage sustained in an earthquake. Until next time, Raven. How Orwellian is that? Whatever happened in that sector, I don't think it was caused by... It, it was caused because of earthquake damage, rather. According to everything I've been able to uncover, those who breached the sector were members of the underground organization Union. This is the group thought to be behind a number of recent uprisings. They are considered a threat to Laird because many of their ideas conflict with those enforced by the controller. Exactly what they are trying to achieve, though, remains unknown. Now that I think about it, there have been an, an unusual number of sector closures during recent years. Could Union activities have something to do with this? What is going on in Laird? Shit's hitting the fan! That's what's going on! Or it hasn't hit the fan yet. But it will. Although I do have to say, it's a bit less epic than how badly things start happening in uh, Armored Core 2. What with, you know, having to, like, raid an orb, like, a suborbital battleship to, like, stop somebody from using it like a Death Star. You know, there, there's no storming of, like, a potentially alien, potentially not like, lost technology moon. Uh, 